Yeah, very pleased. I mean, um, so far this weekend has been, has been really, really tough. Just uh, lacking pace and uh, trying to, to, to change the balance in the car. And it's, yeah, it's been tough, but uh, we kept on working, kept on trying to improve. And uh, luckily when we went into qualifying, it all just came together a bit more and I, I felt more comfortable in the car. And then we were fighting for pole again. So uh, yeah, great, great turnaround by the team. Yeah, very happy. Um, car's been really good all weekend and um, felt like I've been driving well. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with that. Of course, when you're so close, you think of all the little things that you could have done a bit better, but uh, no, honestly, I think it's been a, a really strong weekend and happy with the performance. I mean, on the whole, I'm happy. I'm, I'm pretty happy. Um, I've been a little bit all off. I've been a little bit off uh, all weekend just because I didn't start the weekend off on, on the right foot. So I've kind of been playing a little bit of catch up. So to be P3, I'm very happy with. Uh, but Oscar did a great job and Max has obviously done a great job again, uh, as usual. So no, I'm, I'm very happy. I think for two of us to be so close to pole is a good sign. Um, I think if there's anyone you, you don't mind losing it to and you're not surprised to lose it to is, is to Max. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Do I think there was a little bit more in there? Of course, but I'm sure Oscar and Max probably say the same thing. So uh, P3 is good and uh, good position for tomorrow to try and score some big points. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed. Uh, just today there wasn't much more in the car. Um, yeah, FP1, FP2 went really well. However, we never know what are the fuel levels of the others. And I think uh, they hide their game a bit more than what we thought. It's a shame because when you have upgrades in the car, when you are at home, you obviously want to do really well. But today was the best we could do. And tomorrow we'll focus on uh, maximizing uh, the results. Uh, but the target remains uh, the win for sure. I'm from our side. Um, nothing. I struggle with the soft tire. I'm a lot quicker with the medium and with the hard tires than what I'm with soft, which is something I need to personally look into. But apart from that, mm, all good. It's more or less where we expect it to be, right behind the McLarens, behind the Red Bull. Honestly, I think the McLarens are on equal pace to the Red Bull now, uh, which is really impressive to see. When you look at the last three races, uh, they have been equal quickest and, um, and consistently. So. You know, I think Ferrari are half a step behind them. We're half a step behind Ferrari. Um, you know, this is where we are right now. But it's motivational to see what McLaren have achieved, and you know, we need to try and replicate it. To be honest, I was expecting more from Q3. Uh, didn't really put it all together, so I'm not really fully happy. But uh, yeah, I think until then was pretty good. Yeah, first time I able to go through with one set in Q2. So yeah, that was definitely positive. And overall, this week was a pretty solid week. So. I just uh, finished strong also in tomorrow as well. P1 particularly felt really strong, P2 still relatively decent and then Saturday has just been, it's just been off. Uh, the car hasn't been a, more of a battle today with the, with the balance of the car. But um, yeah, and then once I got to qualifying, I thought that we would have, would have rectified some of the issues we had in P3, but um, yeah, the car was quite snappy. I was just trying to find a little bit here and there, but um, yeah, first sector was where I yeah, honestly struggled, struggled quite a lot and we made some small progress, but still that's where the lap got away from me. Um, but, uh, but that's something, yeah, I'll work on and, and, and we'll keep looking at. But otherwise, rest of the lap, happy, comfortable. So we're, uh, we're in a good place. Just, uh, yeah, try to figure out what I can do better. But also, I think uh, he was driving really well all weekend and I think home track advantage, you know, he's, he said he's driving here every day. I don't know, <laughs> doing some kind of underground testing. So, uh, but yeah, he did a, he did a good job. I think it was definitely good and, and positive uh, to be inside the top 10 again. Not entirely happy with Q3, uh, the final lap, unfortunately, but it is uh, pretty, you know, nip and tuck here. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really on the edge, the circuit uh, over a quality lap. So I enjoyed that. Um, so I'll take it for today and we'll try obviously tomorrow to defend that and, and see what, what the race circumstances look like uh, and see if we can get something else. Yeah, I think when we put the new tire, we've been on a strop tire all the way through and when we put the new tire I was caught out with the amount of grip I had uh, on the rear axle which meant that as soon as I went into turn seven I, I, I went straight and yeah I, I ended up losing um, two and a half tenths compared to me so it was very unfortunate. Yeah I, I think we did in the end but uh, tricky uh, up until then you know from, from the start of the weekend in P1 we started quite far in terms of, uh, of setup uh, and the car was very difficult to drive but slowly slowly every session we kept the mechanic busy and we tried a lot of different things and um, the car was still not perfect 
uh, in qualifying, but managed to get, I think, a decent lap. Unfortunately, it wasn't, wasn't enough uh, to get into Q3, but um, yeah, we, we gave it everything, really. Yeah, we learned a lot, but um, just not competitive enough. That's the, uh, that's the bottom line. You know, we um, were 13th, and you know, um, it felt like that was um, a good lap in Q2, so um, not competitive enough. I think it away from, went away from us a little bit in, after FP3. Uh, the track conditions felt like they changed a bit. Um, I think a lot of it could be down to the wind. We, we don't generally like the wind, and uh, it picked up quite a lot in uh, quality. So we were happier in FP3. I think the pace was better in FP3. Um, yeah, I mean, it's tied out there, and uh, unfortunately, we just couldn't really get the car to, uh, to get through mainly the last two corners. Um, the wind is kind of hitting you from the back through there and uh, the car was a little bit nervous so I went off in queue, run, run, run and every lap after that was just a bit of a, a seesaw on the steering wheel. Uh, to be fair, it all came quite nicely and Q1 we, we put a strong lap, uh, put us in the top 10 and uh, Q2 it was looking good um, until 10.17 and uh, I just lost a bit my focus. Carlos was about to prepare his lap, I didn't really know which way it was going. And I arrive on braking and missed my my uh, uh, braking uh, marker and just went in the in the gravel. So we lost five tenths uh, in that last sector, which uh, fortunately, yeah, was was my mistake and uh, and cost us um, quite a few positions. Yeah, you know, 16th place, first car to be dropped is is tough, and especially again with a fine margin. So, I mean, that's where we are now with a with a single lap pace, which is. Tough and it wasn't easy session. It's quite windy, quite gusty. So I'm sure, like with everyone, if you could go there and again, for surely, surely could, could find a couple of hundreds. I think it's going to be a tough one. I mean, all, all the race this year has been a little bit on the ice train, especially I think Imola, always only one detection. It's not going to be easy, but uh, we've been good in terms of tire management, not so good in terms of top speed trying to overtake. So uh, we try to, you know, take the opportunities, chances for tomorrow. I don't know what's going on this year, but it, it keeps happening. Eventually, it's uh, <laughs> it's got to stop happening. Um, I mean, uh, we we don't seem to be doing anything different to everyone else in terms of timings, when to go out and stuff. But it's, it's been, you know, out of the seven qualifiers, I think five of them we had we had traffic, which uh, caused us problems. Um, on exactly the lap that needs to count, you know, never on the first run, always on the second when the track is better. So, don't know what to say. I'm, I'm it's annoying. In qualifying, uh, after the F2 incident, there are no boards or braking for turn one on the outside, which is a little bit strange. Why we are allowed to do qualifying with a different track at the moment than, than the free practice. But uh, yeah, same for everybody. But obviously, I was lacking laps today. Uh, we put uh, fuel on the car for qualifying uh, and just uh, be able to do some pit stops. Uh, eventually, I did my best lap on the very first lap with uh, a lot of fuel in the car. So I think there is more pace. But yeah, one of those days. It's been a bit of a grind this weekend, for sure. Um, hasn't been hasn't been the easiest, I think, you know, not being here before. I was a little bit on the back foot trying to trying to um, find my way, I guess you can say, around here in an F1 car. But nonetheless, I mean, I think I stuck with it pretty well and, and was improving session after session. So um, some good things, um, some things to work on, but um, 